Daniel chapter 6 verse 18. Daniel's been in the dines then. We're breaking the law. But not breaking God's law. And the fact is, Pantywaste, Laodicean Christians, oh, I don't want to suffer. I want the prosperity. And you haven't studied the life of Paul. You haven't studied the life of, you know, there's a him. There to be a Daniel. Sometimes when you do right by God, you're not going to get good by the world. Jesus said, marvel not, the world hates you. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. I bet she's mad at these men. Because he has a love and a care for Daniel. And when you look at chapter 6, verse 3, and this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and the princes, because the nexus spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm. So now here's been this political plot. If at this point, Daniel, let, let's say for a moment, let's say Daniel is dead. Do you realize what circumstances these men are? They didn't get rid of their trouble named Daniel. <laughs> they would have brought on greater trouble. They'd be untrustworthy. Hey, look! Look at Jacob and his sons. You want me to? You want Benjamin to go with you? Last time you couldn't even bring Joseph home. You didn't bring Simeon home. Yeah, right. Sure, I'm. I'm going to trust you with Benjamin. I'm only going to trust you with Benjamin when there's no absolutely no more food to have. Neither were the instruments of music, and that's old way of spelling it with a K. No, you don't need to change the whole Bible. Just there are King James Bibles out there with M U S I C. I buy it. I haven't read that. Let me see what my Bible. My Bible has the K. Some don't. It's not a doctrinal thing. It's just old spelling. Brought before him. You see the M-U-S in that? The muses of poetry. With the muse of poetry. I forget what that. I think there's four muses. And his sleep went before him. He's sleeping. He can't sleep. He has no food. There's no entertainment. It's quite quiet in the palace of the king. And can you a moment, imagine a moment when Jesus died on that cross? The, Jesus cries out, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The lights go out. Imagine what heaven is when Jesus is in that tomb. You shut up. I don't want to hear nothing. Get away from me, Satan. You say, is it possible? In the book of Revelation, I think one of the trumpets are open and said in the space of an hour, heaven was silent. I don't believe there's singing in heaven right now. I don't believe there's been singing in heaven since Lucifer fell. There will be singing again, according to the book of Revelation, when Israel will be redeemed. But if there is singing, I don't believe there is. It's turned off in heaven. I wonder if even the cherubim's holy, hold us. My son has taken on the sin, the serpent upon the, 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 the brazen, the brazen serpent. And we see the type of the gospel. I know God doesn't sleep, but still, a type doesn't go all the way. Then the king arose very early in the morning. It was the first day of the week and the women came. With the spices. And according to that, according to Mary Magdalene, Jesus already showed up. He says, I have not 
gone to the Father, and then within that space of time, very short time, he goes up to heaven. He just imagined the joy of the Father and Son. Okay, go back down there real quick, Father. Like the prodigal son. Son, you're home. But a miserable experience. And I know that the father, you should really see how it is down there. A pigsty is cleaner than what the world is. <laughs> you know, this world everybody had. You know, you know, described as the prodigal son, he was in a pigsty, <laughs> which is unclean to Jews. <laughs> the son has come home. <laughs> Here it comes again. He got up very early in the morning and went in haste into the den of lions. When he came to the den, where's the stone? Then in verse 17, he sealed it with his own signet. It, doesn't, it does not say he rolled that stone away. <laughs> And when they came to the tomb of Jesus, the stone was rolled. The, the women were sitting there the first day of the week, never called Sunday in the Bible. Oh, there were spices and they're, they're sad. Wait a minute, who's going to roll that stone away? Yeah, we didn't think about that. We should have brought some men. Out. Look, what? It's not there. What's not there? The stone. What, what are you saying? Look. King comes there. No stone mentioned. You notice that? You notice what, you notice what the Holy Spirit said? No. White out the, the stone. Because I want this to be about the Lord Jesus Christ. And he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. The women were crying going to the, going to the, the tomb. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God, thy God, whom thou servest continually, look at that testimony, able to deliver thee from the lions, able to deliver, look at chapter 3, chapter 3, verse 15. And he says at the end of the verse, And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? 17. And he will deliver us of thy hand, O king. 21. Uh, 21. And these men were bound in the cords. They're hosing their hats and their other garments. And we're cast in the midst of the fiery furnace. Down to 29. Every people, language, tongue. Against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and the Gosh. Because he was able. God that can deliver after this sort. I got a God that can deliver. A little bit better than any of the pizza places. Verse 20. 620. I wonder if Dyrus being in Babylon now and if he's heard words of, of this God that's able to deliver. You would assume that the words in the books and paintings and stuff like that would, would, would be around What's has happened? History. And when he came to then he cried. Then said Daniel unto the king, he's alive. O king, live forever. Daniel, are you alive? I'm sitting here weeping. Mary. Yes, Robani. Thinking he was the gardener, Adam.
my God has sent his angel. 325. 325. And the answer said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. They have no hurt in the form of the four of his light, the Son of God. Chapter 6. Verse 22. God has sent his angel, the Lord Jesus Christ. The angel... Jesus, that was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo in the flames, was down there with Daniel petting the lions. It doesn't matter where you are if you are in the storm in the midst of the sea. Jesus may be on the pillow having a sleep. He might have been down there with Daniel sleeping with the lion. This is comfortable. Look at those moments. Paul is a, Paul and Luke are in this massive ship storm at sea. Even Luke writes, we, we wish it would just be over. We wish it was gone. This storm is horrible. We want to be dead. And Paul is down inside the ship somewhere. He says, the angel, my God, who's come to me, who I worship, Jesus Christ. Throughout the Bible, Jesus Christ or that Lord, the angel of the Lord shows up. He shows up for Daniel. And has shut the lion's mouth. That's a miracle. God didn't get rid of the Red Sea. He just parted it. He didn't kill the lions. He just keep your mouth shut. The animals listen to God more than man does. And that marvels me in how that Jesus Christ died on the cross for man and man rebels. If, if, if I was God, I, I'd go on the cross for it. Dogs ain't going to heaven. They're unclean. But I would have died for a dog. I would have made the exception for a dog. I can picture, and this is not going to happen because, like I said, dogs are unclean. But I can picture up in heaven if they were clean. A whole bunch of dogs around the throne wagging their tails. And a little, little jar of bones of God having. Sit. <laughs> but that ain't going to happen. You realize that God has before his throne right now, he has angels that don't have anything to do with him. He has Satan come up before his throne, doesn't want to have anything to do with him. He's got a bunch of men called Christians, including myself. I want you to do that. I want you to talk to that person. I want you to give him a gospel check. No. Even I, I moved my gospel tracks out to the car. We went to a store yesterday, got in the sun, the tracks are out of the car. Don't do me no good where I am now. Remember, when I'm talking about sinner, I'm also talking about myself. I ain't perfect. He said, the lion's mouth, that's a miracle. Because those lions would have been living and breeding for this moment. And they would be fed the most lenient until a moment would be to throw people down in there. That they had no, they had not hurt me. For as, mu for as much as before him, in see, before God and the angel was found in me, like Jesus, I find no fault in him. And also before the old king, Pilate, I do no hurt. And I mean Pilate, I mean, this is a picture of Calvary. This is a picture of Jesus. The Bible says that the graves of the Old Testament saints rose. But you know what's interesting? In that moment in Jesus, the final 40 days he was on this earth, I think it was 40 days, after his resurrection, I believe it was 40. You don't read about them going to the Pharisees. 
You don't read about them going to the priest. You don't read about them going to Pilate. But you know they've got the hair. Did you hear that that Jesus is alive? Oh, Tell them they came and stole the body. We'll, we'll, we'll protect you. Really, Rabbi? I just sat in my room and spoke for an hour with Samuel last night. <laughs> I don't know what you do, Old Testaments, saints. <laughs> I just seen Samson going down the street carrying a jawbone of an ass. So Jonah underneath a tree, he's still mad. Then was the king exceedingly glad from you imagine God the moment when Jesus Christ went back to heaven. You imagine all the angels. Imagine the seraphims. And if those the body of those saints in the Old Testament, I don't believe with all of them, they went to heaven with Jesus before you imagine the celebration. The, the 24 elders, the good angels. Imagine the awe of even the evil angels. He's back. Ooh, you wait till Satan gets those angels that are supposed to be watching that body. And commanded they should take Daniel up out of the den. So it's a hole in the ground. You know where Jesus died? When he died, you know where he went? He went to a hole in the ground called hell. Where our adversary as a lion walking about, seeking to devour. So Daniel was taken up out of the den. And no man of hurt was found upon him. But what did they say about Shadrach, Meshach, and It didn't smell like smoke. Nothing was burnt. They had no hurt, no harm. Their hair wasn't singed. What did they say about Daniel? Not a piece of flesh was missing from him. I mean, that guy looked like he got a lot of sleep. And the king didn't get no sleep. I bet you the king had bags before his eyes. I mean, he's been worrying. He's been crying. He, he's been up all night. No music, no celebration. I bet that king looked like a mess. And he was like, oh, king, could you give me another hour? Oh, that was that paramedic. Woohoo! That was a good shoot. I set my lines at number 37. Mm. What did you wake me up for? Why are you crying? Didn't you have the faith that God was going to deliver me? A couple of them lions need a bath, though. Phew. That's pretty wood. You ever and, and, you know, think about another thing with, with Daniel? All right, the, the Lord sent the angel and shut the mouth of the lion. How is he going to get out of it? It's a big pit. Because he believed in his God. And the king commanded. And they brought those men which had accused Daniel. Uh-oh. And they cast them into the den of lions. Be not deceived. God's not mocked. What's the one man so that he shall also reap? Do you realize those people who have been against Christians, including Christians? I had plenty of Christians who stabbed me in the back. And the world. It's expected by the world, but not great. But you mentioned those moments when they're standing before God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and they have to give an account. There are there are pastors today. I wish that man shut up. I wish he'd get off Facebook. I wish he just shut up. 
And God's going to take that Christian. I don't know what. I don't know if they're saved or lost. He's going to take that people, confession Christian, at the judgment seat of Christ, or great great white throne, and they're going to shut up. But shut up. You wanted my servant who tried to help you and, and cares about me and had more respect for me and my word, and you wanted it. You shut up. Get over there and get that broom and sweep those ashes up. On your knees and shut up. Styling. Yes, Lord. Well done. Hand that man a King James Bible. And tell him what you said you want to tell him. Here's the Bible, sir. And you were wrong. Thank you, Lord. You're welcome. I believe you're going to get a city. You're a king of that city. King of kings. You see these Christians that are against you? You see these Christians that hate you? They're your servants in that city. You, you want to do one-third of a thousand years teaching about the King James Bible? Go for it. What, what material? Oh, you want Peter S. Robinson to come and, and have a special class? Yeah, the birth can do that. I can even bring the translators of King James that did the Bible if you want me to. That sounds good. Okay. Because I don't believe anybody with, with, a, with a modern Bible is going to stand. Dare to be a Daniel. I don't know what I would have done with Shadrach, Meshach, Mendigo's case or even Daniel's case. I don't know. I hate pain. I am a wimp to pain. If I have to go surgery and have another toe amputated, I'd be afraid of the outcome of the aftermath of the worst things I've had happen to me last year. I'm going to be bold for Christ. Where Nova King rear off in my mouth in the dentist's office, I crawled out of that chair and grabbed the saved dentist's face. <laughs> he said, oh, calm down, boy. Whoa, you got pain. He said, well, I got some bad news for you. That tooth is hooked. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I had a procedure last time I was in the hospital, and they, and they had to, and I'm not going to tell you what, uh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I became a Pentecostal. I don't know. Then their children. And their wives. Man, there was a time that you got in trouble, your whole family suffered. There was a wife that said to her, honey, that guy, you don't like him? Why don't you build some gallows for him? There was, there was a wife in the Bible that says, honey, don't you dare have anything to do it. I've been having some dreams about that. You, you don't go to work today. Too bad that man didn't listen to his wife. There have been some, yeah, he's the head of the house. There's some, Dad, honey, please don't. Don't do that. And if they're going to do that, you, you stay home. There are Christian families with their wives and church. They're all for the world. Come on, Dad, let's go to Disneyland instead of church. Okay. Yeah, it's not the place you're supposed to be. And the lions had the mastery. Right, look at that word. Mastery of them. The lions attacked these people with the lion's power they had. Up from the grave he arose. And we just seen the second advent of the Lord Jesus Christ right there, verse 24. 
that lion to try and coming back on the on the horse, the white horse, and he's treading upon his arm with mastery. And that blood ain't the blood of Jesus. It's the blood of his enemy. Look at that. You got the first advent and you got the second advent in, in Daniel 6. Mastery is Jesus coming back. And break all their bones in pieces. I, I read a thing. I, I read a couple of books. I read a book about lions. and real I mean, real stories of lions but in Africa and all that. And we put, you know, that Bible almost messed my life up. I mean, that book. And there's a thing, and I forget how it goes, and I, I could be wrong, but the thing is, they know you would go to bed and wake up, and the guy that was sleeping next to you in your bed would be gone. Or your house. Wherever that man was. There'd be somebody gone. And they said they would know it was a lion. And correct me if I'm wrong, please. He's like, I don't mean to. When they found the shin bone only. I don't think the, the lion's like, whatever it was. But they will find that one bone. That's a lion. A lion did that. And if that's the case, or whatever the case is, and correct me if I'm wrong, please. I'm not perfect. The Bible says they break all their bones. Including the anvil, the hammer, and the stirrup. You say, what are those? Those are the three tiniest bones in your body that's in, located in your ear. Even them bones were broken. But in Jesus, the Bible says, not a bone was in broken. But brother, when he comes back for his for his foes, for his enemies, he, all their bones are going to be broken by the hoofs of that horse. He's coming back angry. And you know who gave the charge? The king gave the charge. The king is also a type of God. And the king is also now a type of Jesus. God is Jesus and Jesus is God. Well, Acts 20, 28, I just did today with my RSV. Jesus is not God. Shame. And ever they came, the bones, at the bottom of the den. The bottom of hell. The valley. Then King Dyer's wrote, all people, nations, and language. Where did you hear that before? What is that? Nebuchadnezzar did that too. He did it both for his image and he did it for the praise of God. Dyrus is, what is that? That's the Christian. Going all over the world and tell the good news. What's the good news? Jesus saved. Jesus suffered and died according to Scripture, was buried and rose again. Jesus said, if you'll search the Scriptures, the Old Testament, they didn't have the New yet. You will find me. Where would you find Jesus? Daniel chapter 6. You know, Daniel is not listed in their prophets. The Ketuvim. Because the Jewish people don't like that Daniel talks about and deals much on the Gentiles. Well, had they given Daniel a proper place, they would maybe recognize the Messiah better. Of the gospel. And that dwell in all the earth. Peace be multiplied unto you. Almost like how Paul starts his letters. I make a decree. I make a law. He blew the first law. That in every. This is his decree. This ain't. 
every dominion of my kingdom, men tremble. The Christians don't do that. And fear before God. Christians don't do that. They don't fear before God. Because they wouldn't be having the wrong Bibles, the wrong doctrines. They wouldn't be saying, all are welcome here. Satan's like, thank you. I'll take that invitation. And Jesus says, that's how things are going to be, church. That's how things are going to be. All right, goodbye. Oh, go away. We're, we're having such a good time. We don't need you, Jesus. Some of you don't even know what, what I'm talking about. For he is the living God. He's already said you serve the living God. He is, and and the king is proclaiming his direst agenda, is proclaiming to all the world the living God. And steadfast forever, faithful. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. We just had the, 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 the destruction of the enemies of Daniel, the Jew. And now we got the forever kingdom following after that. We got the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, even though there was no death for Daniel. We got the triumphal coming of Jesus, King of King and Lord of Lords. And now we got the forever kingdom. Now, how could you lay that out? Which shall not be destroyed, though at the very end of the earthly kingdom, before the heavens and earth go kaboom, Satan is loose, and God's like, you're gone. Jesus? Yes. Where'd they go? Where'd who go? Oh, that massive army he's got. You know, the devil gets a massive army even after a thousand years of Jesus, and he's like, where'd they go? God just said, And his dominion shall be ever, I'm sorry, excuse me, even unto the end of all the earth. Is the millennium. He delivereth and rescueth. He, the second advent. He worketh signs and wonders in heaven and earth. Imagine the great change and the curse being removed off the earth. Imagine a child walking down the street with a kitty cat that's a lion, a tiger, and a panther. And mama looking out the window. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the millennium. <clears throat> I'll make them all salad. Oh, my precious little baby lamb. You're so cute. You're so beautiful. You're so wonderful. You're so unwithout courage. Here, why don't you lay in the belly of this lion? Mr. Lion, will you take care of my lamb? And he licks the lamb. And he's not licking him for being meal. He's like, I'll, I'll take care of him. And the serpent's over here, still slewing the ground. <laughs> Not happy. Satan, I hate you. <laughs> and then, you got a baby? Whoa. We got you a rattle for the baby to play. And he hands him a snake. <laughs> no. The curse is removed. That child's going to be able to go up to a, a hole in the ground where snakes are. No need to worry. Who has delivered? Satan has never delivered anybody out of his torments. Both past, present, and future.
As someone who works it, I'm going to hell, I'm going to party in hell. How long are you going to be in hell? I don't know. Well, how long is Satan going to keep you in hell? Is he ever going to let you out? No. Awful long party. Where's the booze going to come from? From the power of the lion. Our adversary is a roaring liar. Lion. Liar, too. You want power over Satan? I had I had a pres I, a pres gee, my words are messed up. I had a, I had a preacher and his everything is all messed up. I believe today. I had a preacher, old smutty face, I'm gonna shoot him up with a with a water gun. <laughs> hey, he shot you up, buddy. And people are calling me insane for the things I was. That, that guy ain't right. Don't you mess with, with the devil. You realize Jesus didn't get an arm wrest. I, I see these pictures of Jesus and Satan have an arm wrestle match. Pictures on Facebook and all that. Uh, he didn't get an arm wrestle match. He just he just quoted the scriptures. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius. <laughs> you know what's going to happen to Daniel's a Jew. You know what's going to happen to the Jews? They're going to prosper one day. What, what, what was that thing that Spock used to say? Live long and prosper, something like that? That's the Jew. And everybody, the KKK, the Nazi party, and all those that hate Jews are going to hate, and Satan hates the Jew, because they know one day that that Jew is going to be above all. They even get their own earth, new earth one day. In the reign of Cyrus, the next king, three kings. We three kings of Orient Point. Uh, uh, uh. The Bible doesn't say anything about three. But there are three kings right there. Actually four. Nebuchadnezzar, Belsizer, Dyrus, and Cyrus. Not pretty bad, Daniel. And all the reigns, Nebuchadnezzar, Belsizer, Dyrus, and Cyrus, Daniel is seated in the royalty. There was another man that sat or ended up sitting in the royalty. Of a time at the close of the book of happiness and joyfulness, Esther. His name was Mordecai, and he was a Jew. After Haman, a type of Antichrist, was put down. After these, you know, these people here would be a type of, of the Antichrist followers with the marks. And in, in all the war today, in Russia, in uh I don't even know what the other country is, but yeah. yeah it's terrible. War is terrible, but it's going to happen. It's You're not, you're not going to stop it. You better pray for Israel. Those men cursed the Jew, Daniel. And look where their end was. And you know what always gets me? In the word? I, when I read my Bible, I, I think a lot. And everybody says, well, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo was in the fire, where was Daniel? Well, Daniel's gone into the line, then he's come out of the line. Where's Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo? Huh? 